Hey everybody, my name is uh, Rich Siversen. I'm the Senior Director of Solutions Engineering at Stratadesk, and, and today I'm going to have a quick tech talk with uh, Alex Perkins from Anubica. Alex, you want to go ahead and say hi? Uh, hi, thanks Rich. Uh, my name is Alex Perkins, Director of Technical Services for Anubica. I look after the uh, pre-sales and support teams worldwide, and as Rich said, today we're going to talk about the great integration between Stratadesk and Anubica and how it can make remote working better. So, so with that, I'll just do a quick intro about Stratadesk to make sure everybody's aware, and then, then we'll go ahead and pass it over to Alex, and Alex will do a quick demo and, and show you how it works. But basically, Stratadesk, we're uh, one of the fastest um, growing multi-architecture software companies for end-user computing and IoT. And along with that, obviously, we have the, the no-touch OS, which, of course, is what goes on the endpoints, and then we have the no-touch center management platform. So, and what's really cool is the No Touch OS, you know, provides us the ability to provide uh, VDI connections and IoT software for devices that you can manage and manage those connections, whether they be VDI or IoT or those kinds of things. And it's actually relatively easy to do. And, and, you know, we work with great partners like Anubica that gives us the ability to provide those connections and, and you know, extend the reach of our business as well as their business. And, and, you know, it's quite simple to be able to do those things and see how it works. And, and I think Anubica, uh, provides a great offering to provide VDI to end users and you'll see how easy it is. So with that, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Alex and uh, let Alex go ahead and share a screen and do a quick intro about the, the connections and how to create the connections and, and show you what it looks like. So Alex, it's all you. Let me just share my screen here. Okay, so you should be able to see my screen. So um, I think echoing what Rich said there is that the, the integration between Anubica and Stratadesk is completely seamless and it makes it really, really easy to be able to deploy um, Stratadesk and Anubica together. So what I have here, I have the No Touch Center, which is the, the sort of the management platform for the, the Stratadesk clients. I'm just going to log in here. And what you see on the left-hand side in my devices, I have an Anuvica demo uh, thin client. This is actually a virtual machine that I'm running uh, on, my, on my local Mac here. But what I'm gonna show you is how easy it is to add an Anuvica connection and get going. And you can use this to template um, Anuvica clients as well. So effectively you could set up an entire office, plug them into the network, they'll all automatically pull down their configuration and be ready to use in under five minutes. So first of all, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna make a new connection. I'm going to call it Anuvica. We're then going to go and choose the connection mode. In this case, it's going to be an Anuvica OBD connection. For the purposes of simplicity, I'm going to add the connection target. So this is the server that we are connecting to. We then will hop over to the Anuvica OBD tab. I'm just going to turn on uh, full screen mode and I'm going to enforce uh, the desktop mode here. And then all we have to do is hit announce. It's automatically saved and this will push it out to the client. So if you see, if you look on the client here on the left-hand side, you see in a second, the screen will flicker. And, at the, and then it is gonna be pulling in that configuration and doing everything that I've just told the NoTouch Center to do. So there you go, it is now loaded in. So now we have an Anuvica icon on the desktop. I can double click it and it loads up the desktop client, which is pre-configured with the server address we, we put in earlier. I'm just gonna sign in now, just to show you how it will work. So we'll hit start. Oh, no, it's the username. It's the username. <laughs> there we go. So there we go. So that's initializing the session. It's bringing it, bringing it all online in the background, exactly the same as it would be if we were gonna do this on a standard desktop client or a web client or a mobile device. So we've jumped straight into full screen mode. So now this looks and functions exactly like a Windows 10 desktop machine. You see now we have our applications available here. I can dive straight in. I can load an application and begin working. And it really is as easy as that. We've done deployments of this where I've deployed 600 thin clients in under half an hour in four different labs. So it, you know, it, it really is by far the easiest and most secure way to be able to deliver Inuvica OBD inside an environment whilst getting all the great lockdown and management features that Stratadesk can offer. That's actually pretty cool. I, you know, I, I got to admit, uh, you know, certainly the connections are easy, right? You know, I do that all the time, and uh, it's good to see that the Anuva connect, connect, connection works that that quickly. I mean, do you guys Absolutely. have a uh, like a, a specific vertical where you guys do most of your business, or you know, specific use cases that you see people taking advantage of with Anuva most, or? 
I, I don't think there's any specific vertical we fit into better than any other. Um, we see uh, uh, we're having a huge uptake in the education space, certainly with all the, the COVID situation and, and how remote working is suddenly and remote learning is becoming a, such a big thing. Um, and certainly for um, universities, they're not necessarily in a position where BYOD is going to be a good idea. Whilst OBD works very well with BYOD, the university still wants some control over what might be connecting into their network. So they can, uh, in some cases, they pre-configured uh, Raspberry Pi devices running Stratadesk um, cloud um, software, send them out by courier to their um, students, and then all they have to do is uh, plug them in, sign in, and they're exactly where they left off, where they would have been at the end of the previous term, in, in a lab in a, in a university, for example. Um, other places we're seeing a lot in like law firms and, and state departments as well, where, where suddenly, you know, big, den big dense offices don't work anymore. So they, they have to come up with ways to spread people out. They might not necess have necessarily have the space to be able to have uh, a thick client or, or a laptop device anymore. So they want, you know, hot desking approach to be, to be very flexible. Therefore, you know, again, this kind of solution is a perfect fit. It's actually uh, pretty impressive. I mean, the, the fact that, it, you know, you have the, <clears throat> the advantage of being able to deliver the desktop, being able to configure remotely, the, avail the abilities that are built into Stratadesk to be able to remote shadow and assist the users. I mean, the experience looks great. I mean, this is, this is actually quite awesome. I, I'm surprised more people aren't taking advantage of it. So um, are, are there any, you know, what, I mean, there's one feature in Stratadesk that I think you know, it kind of stands out when it comes to supportability and that's the ability to do the identify, you know, where, you know, when I'm working at the help desk, let's say, and a, and a user says, hey, I need an assistance, you just ask them to press the control alt I key and it identifies it to the management platform. I guess where I'm going with that, Alex, is, is what's what, you know, as a, as a technologist, you know, what do you, what do you think is probably the coolest thing about Anubica that probably people don't know? I think the coolest thing is really how um, simple it can be to mix your, your Windows and Linux applications without needing to have to even worry about domains or configuration or anything um, to do with Windows. You can run our automated installer, bring an entire uh, environment online in nine minutes. That's the record I've done it in so far. And that is start to finish. That's, that's the installation from me pressing go to users being able to log in and use applications. Um, the simplicity, the simplicity sings um, volume about how great the solution is. Tie it with Stratadesk, you can get it on in line in nine minutes, deploy in an extra minute, be using it in ten. So you know, it's um, it, it is a fantastic piece of software. So, so I want to I want to go back to that because that's something I was unaware of. So there is, um, for simplicity simplicity purposes, there's no domain requirement. So you can literally stand this up if you would on a single server, kind of like a work group environment. So you don't have to have all the complexity of certificates, etc. You can literally as you said deploy this in nine ten minutes absolutely yeah so there there is no requirement for any any form of directory the product has its own internal directory um if you don't have or don't wish to use a directory um but you can you can spin up an entire windows linux or mixed environment um with all your applications available to all your users everything set up without any need for any kind of active directory or, or windows integration to a deeper technical level um at all uh, so it literally store your apps and, and you're ready to go. Wow, that seems like, uh, you know, for those places, you know, like you said, for education, for schools, those kinds of things that don't necessarily have the, uh, you know, the, the depth of the IT architecture, and I don't mean to insult anybody, I mean, but the depth of the IT teams, you know, where it's more, you know, you have an engineer that works at this school, an engineer who works at that school, and you've got to stand something up, you know, let's say for a lab or for a testing use case. I mean, to be able to put this up pretty quickly and not have all the, you know, we all manage and deal with certificates, but the certificate headaches and, and the AD integration just to get something up and running, that's pretty freaking cool. No, absolutely. That word, but <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. Ab ab absolutely. I mean, uh, give you an example. The the big install we did at, uh, at the University of Namibia, they went from a huge uh, support team uh, supporting a, a traditional VMware based uh, deployment and moved over to OBD. They managed to almost reduce the the workforce by. Um, uh, almost eight times over and redeploy those staff into other areas of the IT where they'd be better used uh, because the the simplicity and the administration and that comes from both Stratadesk and the way Inuvica works um, made their you know, their lives so much easier and made them so much more productive in their day-to-day -day activities. So wh while you're talking that made me think of another thing I mean so obviously it's pretty easy to do over a LAN what what is the performance hit on a WAN I mean you know is there any specific bandwidth requirements or 
Uh, no, oh. Nothing in particular. I mean, uh, OVD will work comfortably on a 56K dial-up connection. We have people that are using it on satellite broadband uh, that are using oil and gas out of sea. So um, everything is accelerated, it's compressed. We have lots of intelligent bandwidth management technology built in to sort of compress and decompress on the fly to give you know, maximum performance on uh, low speed, high latency connections. Oh, it's, again, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm impressed. This is uh, definitely something that, uh, that I certainly need to dig into a little bit more. Um, so, all right, well then, um, uh, like I said, I, I think, you know, there's obviously a lot of things that you can do with Strata Desk, and as Alex mentioned, how easy it is to, to put out a connection and be able to do that at scale. You can do it on one device, you can do it on lots of devices, et cetera. So um, I, I think, you know, Again, we're trying to keep this short and informative to everybody, so I, th I think that's all I got. So, uh, Alex, any any other final words you want to say or anything? Uh, no, nothing in particular. I think it's just, you know, we're a perfect partnership. Um, Stratodesk and Anuvica work fantastically together. And if you have the opportunity to um, get rid of existing physical clients or you just want a simpler solution, then, then Stratodesk is, is the way to go. And, I, and I'm sure you guys have partnerships worldwide, et cetera, and much like we do, so that, you know people can get it. Um, probably, what's what's the best way for people to get more information about Inuvica? Um, they can jump onto our website, so www.inuvica.com. Um, if you can fill out a, a contact us form and reach out, we also have a free trial that's available on there. And and also, uh, likewise, if they went to Stratodesk, get a trial of your software, they can also connect into our free trial platform as well, uh, so they can experience the, the the best of both worlds. Yeah, so I mean, you know, and, and like you said, you know, the ease of uh, deploying an Ibuka, and certainly, you know, I can have a Stratodesk uh, no touch center up and running just a matter of a couple of minutes. So think about that. I mean, you have the ability to have a, uh, a VDI platform to be able to deliver desktops and applications out to your users and manage that across the, you know, your organization at scale, you know, probably in uh, 15, 20 minutes. I, I think we should probably see more people doing this. This is a great solution. So, Alex, I want to want to thank you. This was Pretty awesome. It's good to, good to hear from me and nice to see. So thanks and have, have a great week. Great. Thanks. Bye-bye.